Here's Mrs. Thompson is back. I am I have returned. We're going to finish up section 5.5, example four. We're going to write an inequality from a graph. So we really need to be able to go both ways with this. If they give us an inequality, we should be able to graph it. And then if they give us the graph, we should be able to write the inequality. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with letter A. And I did the best I could, so I'm sorry my little dashed line is so curvy looking. I tried to get it as straight as I could. It's hard to do in, in the software. So first thing I want you to do is we want to try and find where our line crosses grid intersections. Okay? So what I'd like you to do is with your pencil, I want you to circle this point right here, because that's a grid intersection on, on the y-axis, so this is going to end up being our y-intercept. We also have a point of intersection here, and we also have a point of intersection here. So I circled three that I could see very easily from, from my dashed line, okay? So, the reason why I had to circle on this is because in previous lessons, I had marked the points for you. They're not always going to be marked. You're going to have to look where the line crisscrosses the grid intersection, okay? Where it crisscrosses the grid, that's the exact name of that point. It's a, an integer, okay? So let's start right here with that first one that I circled. This is a point on your y-axis, and so this is going to end up being your y-intercept, okay? So as you count, here's the origin, and as you count up, the y-intercept is at positive 2, okay? Now, the other thing that we need is we need to find the slope, to calculate the slope. Pick any two points. You could start here at the 2 on the y and use rise over run. You can go down 1, right 3. So I went down 1, right 3. Or you can start here and go down one, right three to get to that lower one there. Or you can start at the lowest one here on the x-axis and go up two, left one, two, three, four, five, six. So up two, left six is the same thing as negative one third reduced. Okay? So once you have the slope, and once you have the y-intercept, you're good to go. You can actually write an equation in slope-intercept form. The only thing I can't put in there at the moment is the inequality symbol. How do I know it's an inequality? Well, first of all, I see a dashed line and I see shading. So that right away gives it away that I have an inequality and I don't have to select an inequality symbol, okay? So I'm going to go back here to 0, 0. I marked it here on your, hopefully you see it in the video, my little pencil showing up there at 0, 0. It's in the shaded area, and I'm going to plug that in. And I'm going to see how the numbers relate to each other, okay? So 0, and then I've got 1 third times 0 plus 2. And so i got 0 for my y, and I've got 0 plus 2, which is 2. How does 0 relate to 2? Is 0 greater than 2? Is 0 less than 2? What's going on here? Hopefully, you said that it's less than, because it is. And so that's the symbol we're going to use. And we're going to leave it just less than, because it's, since it's a dashed line, we don't need the equal to sign. Okay, remember dashed lines, there's no equal to sign. So this is the equation I'm looking for for this very first graph, okay? There are lots of ways to do this. If you can find an easier way to figure it out, use your way. As long as we end up saying the same thing here, that y is less than negative one-third x plus two, I'm good with it. Okay, let's move over to B. I'm going to circle my points of intersection on the grid. So there's a point of intersection. Here's a point of intersection. Um, really don't see anything else. This is going to end up being your y-intercept because y, it's on the y-axis. That's y. So let's count down. That looks like b is negative 2. Okay. And then let's use these two points and calculate the slope. Okay. So slope, if I start down low, 
I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five. So I went up five, and then I'm going to go right one. So that means my slope is five. So I can write slope intercept form just like that. Now, I've got to decide how the shaded area is. The shaded area is to the left of the line, and 0, 0 is on that side. So I'm going to plug in 0 again for x and y, and I'm going to see how it relates. So 5 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. How does 0 relate to negative 2? Is 0 bigger than negative 2? Is 0 smaller than negative 2? Hopefully you said zero is bigger than negative two, because it is. So I'm gonna use the greater than sign, and because my line is solid, I'm also gonna put an equal to under that. So this is the equation I'm looking for. Excuse me, the inequality I'm looking for. Y is greater than or equal to five X minus two. And that's my answer for that one. Let's flip to the last one in our packet here. This is one of our special lines. It is special to see a vertical line of hope. Okay, remember vertical lines have no slope at all. Okay, so the slope is undefined. There's no way that um, I'm going to have a slope for this at all. Now, as you may recall from uh, the last chapter, in chapter four, um, vertical lines, they never cross the y-axis, so there's no y-term. So it's always going to be x equaling some number. So look where it crosses the x-axis. What is that number? Yeah, it's negative 2. So this is the equation of our line, okay? And now I need to find the inequality symbol because I can't use equals. Um, it's an, I see shading, so it's definitely an inequality. So as you're looking at this, which side, the right side indicates bigger numbers. These are all numbers that are bigger than negative 2. Okay? If you look at the x-axis, as you go to the right, these numbers were getting bigger, okay, on the x-axis. So that would be the greater than side. As you go to the left, the numbers are getting smaller. This would be the less than side. So the logic would be, hey, if we're shading to the right of the line, and it's a vertical line, this would be greater than or equal to because it's a solid line, that would be how I'd write that equation or that inequality, okay? So x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now you could test it. You could use your tester point 0, 0, just don't have a y to plug that second 0 in. So is 0 greater than or equal to negative 2? Yes, it is. This is the correct way to write that. Okay, if you have any questions at all, let's bring those to class tomorrow, and I'll be glad to help you.